Hey guys, there was a post on the Nidalee main subreddit that had some blatantly wrong information about how Nidalee's Q damage is calculated. It was thoroughly disproven in that post, so I don't need to dispute it anymore, but I wanted to instead give you all some potentially useful information, something that you might not know about Nidalee. Now, we all probably know that flashing during Nidalee's Q cast time does not change where the spear spawns. Like so, it spawns from the blue ward even though I flashed away. But one thing you might not know is that the damage dealt by the spear is calculated based on where you are at the end of the cast time. This means that you can flash away from someone and get a decent bit more damage from your spear. Now, it's not an immense amount more damage, you know, maybe 20 or 30% more, but that can be the difference maker for a lot of fights because that can actually be a few hundred damage once you have some AP. I use this once in every maybe 10 to 20 games probably to get a little more distance and damage, and I usually use it when I'm being chased down by someone. I find that to be the most consistent time because throwing a spear directly at them, I'm more likely to get it when they are chasing me down. My knowledge of this mechanic has definitely saved me at least a few times, so I wanted to show you. So if I do a spear from here, 444 damage. If I flash away, 792 damage, right? Now, there's also a unique interaction with this and Horizon Focus. So if I purchase a Horizon Focus, Horizon Focus works much the same way. However, Horizon Focus cares about the projectiles distance rather than your distance. So it's calculated a little differently. So for instance, this range, I'm not you, I'm not getting horizon focus. You can tell there's no debuff here. So I'm not applying horizon focus. If I flash during the cast time, I'm still not applying horizon focus because it was calculated from this distance rather than this distance. But if I th throw this gear from here, I am applying horizon focus. And you can see it does a little more damage because of it. So if you flash in the cast time of Nidalee's Q with Horizon Focus, you can actually get a spear that does almost max damage with it without actually applying Horizon Focus. Hopefully that information is useful for you all. And like I said, I just wanted to give you all some useful information after some wrong information was posted. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.